Welcome, University of Iowa students and families. We can't wait to meet you all here on campus very shortly. We want to thank you in advance for taking a moment to watch our pre-recorded orientation videos prior to summer orientation. While viewing the recording, please jot down any questions or comments you have regarding the information presented. Either bring the questions with you to campus or use the contact information on the last slide to reach out to us directly. Ready? I am. Let's get started. The title of this session is Data Collection Within the UI Reach Program. My name is Erica Kaldenberg, and I'm an Associate Research Scientist with the UI Reach Program. I joined the UI Reach team in 2015 after completing my PhD in Special Education. Most of my work here at Iowa focuses focuses around three areas, program evaluation, research, and grant funding. Question for you, what do all three of these have in common? Program evaluation, research, and grant funding. <sighs> I hear it, data, 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 data. You are all right, they all include Data, data. Is it data or data? Hmm. Data, data. I don't know. Maybe this clip can help us out. Data, look at this. Data. Huh? My name. It is pronounced data. No. Called me data. <laughs> One is my name. The other is not. Well, I'm not sure that that clip helped out too much, but there are multiple other sources that indicate it doesn't matter. Data, data, they're the same. You are part of the UIH family. And as a part of the UI Reach family, you are also part of the University of Iowa. And here at the University of Iowa, research, scholarship, and creative activities play a vital role in Iowa's mission. Without research, scholarship, and creative activities, truthfully, and in my opinion, the UI Reach program and other similar programs in the country would not exist today. Now, research, scholarship, and creative activities also have a common thread. Guess what it is? <laughs> You're right. Are you beginning to see a theme of today's presentation? data. And the overarching goal for this presentation is for you all to associate data with the word yay. Goes. I'm not sure I can guarantee that everyone will be dancing along to the Daddy Yay song by the end of this presentation, but I do want to make sure that each audience member by the end of the presentation is able to, number one, explain three reasons why the UA REACH program collects data. Okay, second objective. Describe how any data that are shared outside of the UI Reach program do not and will not identify who the data came from. And the third objective, I want each of you to be able to understand that you have the choice to decide if we can share your data 
outside of the UI Reach program. Now that we've gone over the three objectives for today, now that you have some background knowledge, let's go back to objective one. Objective one, why does UI Reach collect data? Remember, by the end of this presentation, I wanna make sure that you all have at least three reasons why the UI Reach program collects data. So number one, and they aren't in any particular order, but know that we collect data in order to meet individualized needs. In fact, it is directly in our mission. Our UI Reach mission states that we are cultivating individualized supports and opportunities that promote advocacy and success in everyday life. Data helps us meet people's needs. We also collect data in order to improve our program. We want to make sure what we're doing works. We want to make sure our students are successful, that our parents and guardians are happy, that we are doing the best we can. Third, we collect data in order to tell others about the UI Reach program. You might be saying, what does this look like? But you know, when we have something that is working, if we want to tell policymakers, legislative um, officials that UI reach changes lives, we need data. We need to be able to share our employment outcome data with policymakers. We need parents to understand that our employment rate of our UI reach graduates is four times higher than those individuals with disabilities that don't go to college. Data is important. It helps tell our story. So in summary, we collect data in order to, one, meet individual needs, two, improve our, improve our programming, and three, to tell others about UI Reach. We're going on to objective two. Okay, we're gonna stop here before we go to objective two and just clarify something. When we collect data to inform our practices, that's called program evaluation. Okay, program evaluation. Our data is used to make our program better and to tell us about our program, got that. But, hold on, when we share data with others, like, hey, you wanna reach is awesome. Look at how our graduates are doing. You know what that is called? The University of Iowa calls that research. Sometimes research can sound a little scary, but just know that within the UI Reach program, the data that we collect is really our educational data, our outcome data, our success data, our satisfaction data, and we share that with external stakeholders because we want people to understand what it is we're doing and the importance of what we're doing. So at UI Reach, remember, you are part of that University of Iowa, the University of Iowa, and you're a Hawkeye, and we are committed here at the University of Iowa to research. And so therefore, when we are collecting data and we are sharing it outside of the program, that is research. But in research, we do not identify who that information comes from. So for example, we de-identify all the information that is shared. What does de-identified mean? It basically means that all the names are removed. So there is no way to figure out who exactly it is we're talking about. Here's an example of de-identified data. And now this is a little dated, but just know that we want to be able to show all of our graduates and how they're employed. And if they're employed part time, because these numbers, these data are important. Now, you don't see anybody's names here. We aren't saying that Sally is working at this place and 
Joe is working over here at this school. No, we are just saying that our graduates are employed. We might break that down and look at industries, but we are not tying people's names with where they're working. When we're looking at hourly wage, we wanna know how much our graduates are making per hour. And how does that compare with graduates that are not, or that chose not to go to a program like UI Reach? This information is important. And overall, we wanna know if our graduates are satisfied. Again, these are just some examples of the data that we might collect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with objective three. So take a moment before we move on to write down any notes or questions that you may have and know that we're almost done. You guys are doing great. So objective three. It's simple. All you need to do is understand that you have the choice to decide if we can share your data outside of the UI Reach program. Yes. That's it. As our little friend here says, I can totally remember these things. I've always known data are cool, cool like me. But before we go, let's see if you understand objective number three. Understand that who has the choice to decide if we share data? The answer, you have the choice. You have the choice. That was objective three. Let's rewind to objective two. In research publications, true or false, are student and parents' names included? True or false? The correct answer, false. In research publications, student or parents' names are not included. Remember, it's called de-identified data. Last one, quick check. List three reasons why the UI Reach program collects data. Number one, in no particular order, but remember we wanna be meeting individual needs of students and families and of staff, right? So we wanna collect information to make sure that we can do so. Number two, we are committed to making UI Reach better. We are committed to continuous improvement. If we don't gather the information from our students and our families and our employers and other people we work with, we can't ensure that the UI Reach program is getting better. And number three, we also wanna tell others about the UI Reach program and how awesome our students do and the success of our graduates. Remember, we want to tell everybody how awesome UI Reach is, but when we do that, that's called research. We'll be continuing this conversation about research and data collection coming up in the fall, but just know our next steps. This summer, you will receive a little more information on our specific 2021-2022 data collection activities. We'll also talk a little bit in that packet about our long-term data collection so that we can be tracking our graduates so that we have the information to come back and to tell our policymakers that if you invest in inclusive post-secondary education, it makes a difference. College makes a difference. During summer orientation parents, students, you will have an opportunity to come and find me. We can talk about the activities and you can ask any questions. You can also reach out to me directly. And then during fall check-in and move-in, we will meet again and we will go over those activities that you may choose to participate in. You will have the opportunity to sign a consent form. Just note that guardianship will come into play. So families, students, um, if guardians, if you're a student and you have a guardian, that guardian might have to also sign. But students, you get to choose if you wanna be a part of this, just like our parents and our guardians. Um, each of the separate data collection activities will have a separate check-in. And here's a little picture uh, to remind us about move-in. It is a very exciting time. You have lots to look forward to. And if you have any questions or comments, please reach out. Again, my name is Erica Kaldenberg. I'm an associate research scientist with the UI Reach program. I think I have the best job in the world, but I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. 
and reach out again if you have any questions. Until then, keep shining.